I've been experimenting with all of them ever since my curious toddler fingers could hold a crayon. Pastels, pencils, clay, acrylics, oil, oil pastels, and even digital. For this specific series, I uh, used two of these. Acrylic for one half and digital paint for the other half. It aligned with the subject matter, the um, juxtaposition of opposites. And uh, it's exciting to discover what each medium will do and where it can take you. And by working in tandem with each other, they inform each other. With acrylic paint, I can get a lot of texture and layers and also apply the paint really smooth. Uh, on the other hand, digital painting allows for a kind of color manipulation and other effects that you just can't get with traditional mediums. I'm fascinated by the ebb and flow of shapes and the space between figuration and abstraction and the interplay of light and dark. Light doesn't exist without dark. These uh, dualities exist only when the mind splits the unified field into subject-object and misperceives itself as separate. It's a field of information that's informing and interacting with everything. <laughs> Growing up in the 70s and 80s, you couldn't help but be influenced by the Skywalker saga. But, you know, George Lucas was expressing the same phenomenon, and it isn't a new phenomenon. There's as many ways to express this ancient truth as there are people in the universe. You see, whether we like it or not, we're all entangled in a cosmic web together. To free myself from the trappings of rational perception. To make art, you've got to surrender to the present moment. If you can do that, then a psychological shift happens, which allows you to perceive reality from a holistic perspective. All of us can do this if we don't let our left brain dominate our right brain. I uh, think it was Einstein that said, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing him, but he said, the infinite mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind a faithful servant. We've created a society that honors the servant, but forgets the gift.
please click the link below in the text to find more information about me and my work. And thank you to Carolyn Edland and the team at Artsy Shark for the featurette.